And it is Monday, September 12th, and we want to get an update now on a story that we've been following for you all morning, a possible shooting on a highway in the East Bay and uh, cause a big traffic problem. It's been a busy one. Yeah. We've been following it for you for the past couple of hours of mornings on two. I know where James Torres has been live at the scene for a couple of hours now. Yeah. James? Hey yeah, guys, good morning. The latest here from the highway you see behind me, it's flowing smoothly now. Traffic is moving along as we suspect it would by 9 o'clock on a Monday morning. Earlier this morning, we would see those typical traffic jams, but as you can imagine, way more jam here as a result of what we now know CHP is investigating a shooting. We know now the cars that might have been involved, up to four cars might have been involved in a crash here. They are now cleared from the scene. It doesn't really look like anything's happened at this point here, but let's show you some video of what we saw earlier this morning because what we saw was a little bit chaotic. CHP officers shut down the entire freeway until about 7 o'clock. That's when they opened up one lane and then slowly got the rest of the freeway opening back up. We noticed a white SUV with broken windshields and blown tires. And on one side of that car, there appeared to be little bullet holes. We spoke to a driver along the highway who takes this route every morning. He says he saw this car and another car driving recklessly around each other. He then saw and heard gunshots going toward that white SUV and things that all stemmed from road rage. First thing out of my mind is, what is going on? And then I get frustrated and upset because this seems to be a common occurrence on Highway 4. And why do people have to shoot other people? And... I mean, come on. I mean, why get into road rage? This is ridiculous. That SUV was towed away about an hour ago. CHP says they are now investigating how this all started. In the meantime, the scene of the crash is now clear. Highway 4 now back open. But this is not the first time we've heard about a shooting on Highway 4. In fact, there was a string of about three shootings on Bay Area freeways in a span of five days earlier this year. Of course, we're waiting to learn more from the Highway Patrol, and once we get those updates, we will pass them along to you. We well, you noticed that the highway and that exit ramp that was closed for a little while, that was next to a, a BART platform. There's a BART train that runs through uh, the median of this freeway as well. Just given the proximity of that to the scene, we did reach out to BART for uh, whatever information they may be able to share. They did not immediately have any extra information, but they say they are checking in with their officers to see what they are able uh, to tell us. So as soon as we have those uh, updates from anyone, one of these agencies, of course, CHP being the primary agency for the road rage, possible road rage and shooting incident, we will let you know. For now, reporting live this morning, I'm James Torres, KTVU, Fox 2 News. James, thank you for that update.